Um, we had to cover Honeycomb Braids. We had to ch cover Charleston White. The thing is paralleling. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Well, guys. Hey, man. Listen, man. News you can use. News you can use, man. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys uh, keep checking out Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Hey, man, you will be able to keep up with what we got going on just by keeping in tune with what we're doing on different segments, different things that we're lacing together, man, when it comes down to letting you guys know from our perspective what we feel is happening uh, in uh, these different communities on, on in, in this Internet world. I jumped in this world to make sure you guys are informed on what's happening now, man. And one of the uh, things that we're going to always do, man, is make sure we try to give it to you from a perspective where it's something that's thought out. We're not just out here saying things that are not really true, man. But this is breaking news. I had to jump on it, man. Let's get right into it. Hey, man, thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Uh, man, just make sure you guys like, comment, and all that good stuff. We're going to keep this thing going, man. Charleston White, hey, listen, bro, this this dude is something else, man. Uh, he stays in the in the, in the in the news, as you guys know. If, and, and I hope you guys have been watching what's been going on. Piper spoke on the fact of when he does shows, you know, uh, with uh, different uh, comedians. He's never, ever in his lifetime seen what just happened seven, eight days ago when he was at that comedy show uh, where Charleston White threw a pot, a flower pot at a, a, a paying uh, fan and also, you know, was attacked by fans after he assaulted them with a microphone and all that good stuff. Well, uh, let's fast forward. Uh, eight days later, seven, eight days later, here we are now and we're looking at Charleston White is dealing with assault charges, aggravated assault charges and animal cruelty charges. Do I know what he's uh, stemming from? No, but I can tell you it's real. Uh, there's a report. Uh, there's there's paperwork. You can uh, you can look and see that these things are really happening in real time. I thought he was working with the police there for a minute. Um, early on when we were dealing with each other, it was all about the children. He was he was uh, activist for children. We was talking about hype. I even awarded him. It was all kind of stuff going on early on with Charleston White when he come down to trying to do things to help our children. But now he's fanned out. He's pretty much uh, famed out, sorry. And basically what you're seeing now is just uh, plights to get views. And I, I said on one of my segments with AD, shout out to AD from Community and Fig Community and all those guys, how far will one go to get views? How far will one go to figure out a way to get views and do whatever they got to do to stay relevant on, in this internet world. We chose to be uh, people who standardized things, who built by integrity and morals. So therefore we had to part ways with Charleston White two years ago. I have so many different interviews that I never released from Charleston White, um, basically being with me, traveling, um, basically, I'm basically taking them around, campaigning some of the things that we were doing at the time. And if you go back and look, you can see where we, Miss King and all other people from the Juvenile Detention Center, worked together. Um, Dewberry and all of them was a part of this movement. You've seen them early on on my channel. Um, but after we couldn't see change and we couldn't see growth, we had to part ways because building on this internet, you got to choose if I'm going to build from integrity or am I going to build from a place where it's aggra aggravated, aggressive, uh, misusing it and this conduct I could not be a part of. So therefore, you see the change in the way we do things versus the way things are done on other social media platforms, on other uh, different uh, spaces when you look at uh, digital influence. But let's just talk about it for a minute, man. Charleston White gets charged with a, a aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He also get uh, charged with assault. Two charges that's similar, but one, we know that you'd have to be one that's, uh, you know, engaging with a, with a weapon. You know, if you know Charleston, uh, with everybody chasing him, he always keep, you know, keep that gun on him. Well, you know, did he have drugs on him? We don't know when they picked him up. We don't know if he turned himself in. Uh, we hear stories, but you don't know. Um, also, animal cruelty. Where does animal cruelty fall into this? Um, I first wanted to equate it to what happened the other night at the comedy show 
But there was no animal cruelty there. Dean Summer said something that happened at the barbershop. There are so many different things going on with this whole situation. There could have been some film out there that day. Um, yeah, he was in the avalanche, but he plays internet games. So we don't know what happened that day. But one thing, rest assured, they wouldn't have picked him up if there was something if there was not something there, visuals, video camera footage is more popular than anything else these days when it comes down to uh, convicting someone. And you'll see that they'll also go back and use the things that you've said to plight against you if you're watching the Young Thug case. So what we have here with Mr. Charleston White is he's uh, at this point uh, taking a place to where he's living out his destiny. He's planted a lot of seeds that he has to now, you know, you have to reap the benefits of, you know, and you guys that are Charleston White fans, uh, you guys get ready for a fantastic voyage because this is the thing that happens when you plant those type of seeds, man. You have to be careful. You know already that, you know, life and death is in, is in, the, in, in the tongue. So you got to be careful on the things you say. You got to be careful on the energy you bring. I remember the role music coming on the show early on and say, that's why he don't rap certain songs and say certain things because you have to live by the things that you say. So Charles White is one that said on my show plenty of times, I'm willing to die, kill, and all this other stuff. So you guys know that. At any uh -huh. given time, my nigga, if I feel the need to speak on something, it ain't a man alive that can muzzle this mouth. Hey, fuck a muzzle I'm willing, I'm willing to when die, talking, kill, and go to jail by what I speak on. Let's see no, that you, you heard him say it. He, coming from his own mouth. He's willing to die, kill, and do whatever to, to, to basically uh, for what, he, what comes out of his mouth. So you guys, you got to be willing to go there. Go to jail for whatever comes out of his mouth. So you guys should be, this is right where he's supposed to be, dealing with the things in real time that he, the way he deals with them. So uh, kudos to him for uh, getting elected, you know, for the things that he's, he's, he's pretty much saying and they're coming to fruition. So, man, um, you know, you don't hear about him speaking on his children much for us, um, you know, trying to figure out a way to, to best describe helping family. And that's what, that, that's that's where I draw the line. So uh, kids and, 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 and mothers and daughters and stuff, uh, as far as from our community, we should be standing in defense of them, not exploiting them, not talking about, uh, uh, you know, F, the dead uh, mothers, the dead sons of the mothers and all that stuff. I think, I think I've heard he said was like F me, F her, um, Snoop, and something about some money that he gave us money. Up yeah, like he, he takes they care gave y'all some something. money. Yeah, he took care of all you bitches. Yeah. That go for Snoop, mama. Man, your best man. I mean, I played fur and packed fur with all you bitches. From Lil Snoop Mama, FBG Duck Mama, yeah, um, and all that's this not other. True. I mean, so I'm just trying to figure out how does it get there and why? What is the where is the anger coming from to even be mad about that? Dope, I packed fur with all you bitch. I see why you whole son dead. Bitch. Ain't nobody giving a fuck about Snoop. So early on, we had to change the way we was doing things. Um, Bef you know, I stand on, on morals and integrity and, and, and trying to figure out ways to be better every day. And I think that's what we all should plot. And, you know, you guys might say, well, that's old nigga talk. Maybe you young niggas want to crash out. And if that's what you want to do, then keep on doing what you're doing. It's all love. Um, your boy, I'll show up to your funeral and all that. I'm going to rock out with you. So, um, yeah, one thing I can say, man, just uh, know that this is the road that you've chosen. Um, Charleston White, like I said, I seen him early on. I know his tactics from Vegas to Cali to uh, North Carolina, uh, all of that stuff that early on you can you, you see we dealt with him and like I said, we detached ourselves. And like I said, I hate that any man would have to go to jail. There's They're picking up our young men and I just, I hate that they, they pretty much play the system gonna we'll play you every time. That's my boy Honeycomb Brazy, you know, and I rock with his music. I, I remember my boy, uh, uh, Papa Doc turned me on to Honeycomb Brazy and I seen him and he was in them projects and he was doing this whole movement. But at some point when you find success, you have to figure out a way to turn it down. And so Honeycomb Brazy is, is man, I, I, he actually, I got text messages when he came home 
Um, he spoke on Pimp C, and if you watch the show, you know I'm a big Pimp C fan. So when he spoke that, uh, I spoke to his manager, uh, gave my insight on how I felt about, you know, speaking on the Pimp. And basically, uh, they came and, you know, basically told me that he was a Pimp fan, but, you know, it wasn't that, like, he don't support Pimp. But some things, I ain't, you know me, I'm not going to let you ride with it when it comes down to Pimp C. Uh, Pimp C is one of those guys that, Hey, listen, man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, he not going. So, um, yeah, Pimp C was, uh, mentioned by Honeycomb Brazy and, and I was basically, uh, yeah, offended a little bit, but that's my guy. I still was going to go down there and interview him eventually, but I just, you know, one thing about it, man, Destiny is, is pretty much going to take his course. Shout out to 1501. They went down and did something with him. That's my boy Carl Crawford. When, when it comes down to it, man, this internet is crazy, man. You don't know. If you hear one day, the next day you're locked up, I guess. But Honeycomb Braze has been locked up again now. Um, multiple charges, man. Multiple charges. And of being on parole, there are certain things that you can't be around. And he find himself around these things. Um, and then you get jammed up and you around these things. And this is this is what causes your issues. And they're not going to play with you in the system. They trying to figure out a way to keep you locked up. So that at all costs, they're trying to figure that part out. So the thing I can say, man, is make sure you guys uh, check out what's going on. See where we at with it. Um, been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 news you can use. I'm not going to keep going. Uh, Honeycomb Brazy, man. Uh, listen, I'm going to put some money on your books. I'm that guy. I'll put some money on your books. If I can get to you, I'm going I'm to try to rock with you. I ain't like these other cats. I, I'm rocking with you. You know, I'm the type of dude, man, to be honest with you, I'm going to always reach out. Um, put some money on these boys' books, man, because you're going to have to stop what we got going here and try to clean it up. When success meets you at your door, you got to take it, open the door, and welcome it in. You guys have so many different things going to where y'all don't have to live like that. And I'm just saying, man, come on, man. Let's get it together, man. When it comes down to our youth, they're watching you guys. You guys are that example for them. So, hey, man, listen, man. Check it, man. Hey, news you can use, man. Listen, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, we had to cover Honeycomb Braves. We had to ch cover Charleston White. The same is paralleling. And, man, I just wanted to say, man, make, you, make sure you guys become members. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments, man, what you think about it. The Charleston Whites. What do you think about the Honeycomb Braces, man? Um, you guys, enjoy your day, man. Use you can use. For real. This time, that's about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, reason you see me.